Hi traders, I just made over $1,000 day trading stocks in less than one hour. Let me show you how. IQ is down today 5% and I was looking for this topping. You see these are the first uh, few one minute candles here. So as you can see it gap down dramatically, it's moving up and you always look for the first sign of a pullback. Now if I'm going to see it moving under 29.50 that should be considered a pullback. So I'm getting ready to short it and here it comes 29.50 now just moved under. I'm short 4,000 shares. Now the first thing you need to know is where your stop and my stop should be somewhere around here like 40 to 50 cents. BIIB is up today 20% almost 20%. Now as you can see it's trying to come down and I'm about to short 400 shares. That's a multiple point mover. One seat coming under this 356. Oh, it just came. Okay, it came rather quick. I'm short 400 shares. It just broke down under this support level. And again, when the stock is up that much, up more than 20%, it has really two choices. One is to dramatically move up. The second one is profit taking. And as you can see right now, it's profit taking. The first candle only was the candle where people were buying. So people are getting excited, greedy, greedy about uh, the fact that they see stock gapping up 20%. I don't know what the news, but certainly BIIB, Biogen has some kind of news. But other than the first candle, it's coming down. So it's most likely to continue. So I'm short. Let's see what happens. IQ is not doing that well. As you can see, it's just uh, it came down initially when I shorted it here, but uh, then it's it really is drifting higher now, coming back up again. I should be stopped over 29.90. Watch 29.90. I'm getting ready to be to stop it now. Okay, I'm stopped. I have a loser in IQ. Now the highs is 30. You don't want to wait until it moves over the highs because once it moves over the highs, it will jump up dramatically. There will be a lot of stop orders. Look at it right now. Look at that 20 cent move over 30. Now you don't want to stop it over 30 because you expect it to dramatically move up. So you always anticipate the stop and you click the button before before it moves over the technical stop. The technical stop is 30. You stop it before that. Now I'm starting my day with a terrible loss here in IQ over $2,000 but I'm hoping I'm gonna do well with the BIAB. Now take a good look at uh, BIB, it's drifting lower and uh, it found some support area here right at uh, 355 which it just came under and I'm getting ready to short another 200 shares. I'm looking for another leg down here. Just moved under 355. Now, okay. I think it just broke down under this support area. So I'm adding another 200 shares. BIB is drifting lower. And again, other than the first one minute candle, the stock is coming down. It's trending lower. And as usual, we can't fight the trend. We should join the trend. The trend is our best friend. I like Tesla for a short. It's down 1.7%. It tried to move higher and failed. I'm about to short it. And the first thing that comes to my mind is where my stop loss is going to be. So it looks like if I'm going to short it here at 3 or 3.50, I'm going to have a $1.5 stop loss. That means smaller size, short 2,000 shares. Now again, 2,000 shares, $1.5 stop loss. That's approximately $3,000 risk. IQ, you, all, you remember what happened here over 30, <laughs> look at the rest, but it closed the gap. When the stock is go closing the gap, as you can see here, it usually reverses. So I'm getting ready to short it once more because it's coming down right now under this support area just now. I'm short 4,000 shares, so that's my second trip in IQ today. Tesla's not looking good. Uh, it initially came down. It was very close to my target, which was uh, 302, one and a half point. But now it's coming up and it's trending higher. It's trending higher. Oh, look at that. Just moved over 305. Small pullback. If it's going to continue higher now, I'm stopped. And look at the highs now. And look what happens when it moves over the highs. And again, you don't want to be stopped 
over the highs. You want to be stopped before it moves over the highs. The high is a nice technical formation for a stop. That is true. But you need to be stopped before that because once it moves over the highs, it's going to run because that's where everybody is having their stop losses. You don't want to be where everybody has their stop loss. You want to move before because this big jump could have cost you much, much more than that. Now, I have a very unpleasant loss in Tesla over four grand in total more than $6,000 down. BIB is doing okay, but I do have a rule. When I have three consecutive losing trades, I'm out of the game. So I'm just waiting now for BIB and hopefully if I'm gonna have a winner, then that would be fine. But uh, right now it doesn't look so good. My second IQ trade doesn't look so great too. As you can see here, it's trying to drift higher a little bit now. And that means that my trading day is almost over. If I'm gonna have another one loser today, like IQ for example, I'm out of the game. I have a very, very important rule. I never have more than three consecutive trades. Once I do that, I'm out of the game. You know, when you're trading, the, the, the most important thing for you is to stay green. But when you get into red territory, you must have rules. Some people, and think about yourself, some people just over trade once they're losing. So you get to the point where you are down, you wait for the day, and the only thing that comes to your mind is, I wanna get back to green. And then you start over trading, and then you start losing so much money. And I've been through this path so many times. I don't do that anymore. It happened to me many years ago. I just don't do it anymore. If I'm gonna have another th another third loser here in IQ, I'm done after the game. Some of my worst nightmare days were, were, were when, happened when this kind of thing, you know, when I was down and I was over trading and I just don't want to return there. So I'm hoping for a third winner here so I could stay in the game, but I'm absolutely out of it if I'm going to have a third loser. And you need to keep this rule too. Well, I don't think I'm going to have a third uh, loser. Last time I had a third loser, a third consecutive loser was more than six months ago. So look at IQ now. It's doing really, really good. Entry point was here. I'm out now. Took my partial. And a losing trade in IQ. As you can see earlier, I was down in IQ, but uh, the outcome of my two trades in IQ is positive. I'm up $263, and that's the combination of one losing trade in IQ and now this winner. And BIB is doing good too. I was down six grand just a few minutes ago, and now I'm almost back to green territory, just down $1,200. I love Baba formation. Look at Baba's uh, breakout over the highs. That really does look good. And uh, the 189, that's a whole number breakout, is quite an interesting breakout. I think we're going to see a lot of buyers there once it moves over the highs. So you really want to buy just before. Oh, we just moved over. Okay, I'm chasing it up a little bit. Just bought it over 189. Still looks good. That's a nice breakout formation for Baba. And look at BIB. Well, I trusted this one. And look at the trend. Again, you can't beat that. The trend is your friend. And BIB just continues lower. And I'm just about to take my partial 500 shares. And that was an over six grand trade. Baba's not doing so good. It's just drifting sideways. I'm down a little bit, not much. I'm going to be selling my 2,000 shares right now. So, well, it didn't go my way, so there's really no reason to hold for it. So Baba was a relatively small loser, a $500 loser, but uh, the end game is what imported. I was down six grand, now I'm up $1,600. Well, that was a tough trading day, and I almost got kicked out of trading today, but I think I played the right game today, so I'm glad to be on the winning side. Thank you for watching this video. Before you go, we invite you to take Traders free trading challenge. If you succeed, you will receive free trading education and access to a $14,000 funded trading account that will allow you to trade from home and keep 70% of your profits. Click here to sign up for this no risk, no cost offer. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.